Uh, before it stays consistently cool, it's your chance to make sure your home heating is safe, efficient, and consistent. That's right, Tia. Now is the time. TV6's Michael Sobeck is joining us live from Swick Home Services in Marquette to find out how you can be better prepared for the coming winter. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, ladies. Yes, the winter is moving rather quickly. I mean, we're already over halfway through October. It's starting to get cold at night. And even though it's warming up a little bit during the day, and and those temperatures that are more comfortable, that doesn't mean it will stay like that forever. Now, I have John joining me, who is the service manager here at SWIC. And jumping right into some things here, it's getting colder at night, and people are going to start turning on their heaters. What is not only the importance of maintenance, but what should they be looking for? Yeah, it's important to get everything started before the before the real cold weather starts. You know, we, we see a pretty large uptake in calls the first couple of cold nights. Um, it's important to get everything started up test it out, making sure things are running properly. So if there is a problem, you've got time to address that. Now you guys do a little bit more than just wood stoves and furnaces. There's plumbing involved. When someone is thinking about what maintenance needs I might need on my home, what is the, what is the best mindset to jump in with? Uh, the best thing is, is think, think of it as, as the whole home, Every, everything in your home. You've got your plumbing, you've got your heating. Um, if you do have things like wood stoves and other uh, gas burning appliances, um, check those out. They're going to become very important in a, in a very short time and have them running well is, uh, is going to be key. Now, of course, there's a, we have a sense of urgency because now it's always, it's like working on a car. You want to do it now before you have to worry about it later and you're in a pinch. Um, what are some of the you know, risks involved if you don't jump on that maintenance? Yeah, the big thing is, is having a, some kind of failure in the, in the middle of the, the night, the weekends when, when it's less opportune or it's very cold and it's hard to get somebody out to take care of that problem. Absolutely. Now, Mackenzie, you were actually a service technician. You're out in the field. You're actually seeing the systems. What are the first things you look for when you're maintaining someone's home, either a plumbing or a heating system? We look at the system as a whole so that if there is any issues, then we can see the system as a whole and find it from there. Absolutely. Now, if you're say focusing on the plumbing aspects, what is the first thing you look for? Anything like drafts coming into the home or anything like that, that could eventually freeze those pipes when we get into the cold months. Absolutely, now of course it's getting colder. Mm -hmm. As we know, the nights are getting colder. Uh, for people at home, what's some advice you'd give them uh, if they start noticing maybe a weird sound from a furnace or they see some, some leaky pipes? I'd say to get the maintenance done on it uh, before the cold comes so that you get it resolved now before we have a bunch of no heats lined up. Of course, you don't want to run into any other bigger problems. Mm -hmm. I know one, one problem can always lead to another, mm -hmm. and we definitely want to make sure that homes are ready, especially up here because the winters can be brutal. So thank you guys so much for joining this morning. Uh, coming up our next segment, we're going to take a little bit more of a closer, fine look at some ways you can prepare your home for the cold, not only the maintenance aspect, but some ways you can keep your heat in your home efficiently. Efficiency is a very key part of a good, happy, healthy home in the winter. So that's all coming up in just a few minutes, so definitely stick around. It's back to you, ladies. All right, thank you, Michael. It's kind of odd sometimes to think about things like this when it's going to be so warm and some people maybe still haven't even turned on their heat. I am definitely not one of them. I have had it cranked for a while. I have no problem doing yeah. that. I do not like being cold. But certainly really important things to think about before it gets cold because we know it's going to happen. Yes, eventually we will get to that cooler mm -hmm. air, but not this week. Expect, expect some areas to see 70s all time. Who could see that after?